While most of us navigate the familiar terrain of everyday health, there exists a realm of rare diseases that captivate, surprise, and often inspire. These are the stories of individuals whose lives are touched by the unusual, whose struggles and triumphs remind us of the incredible strength within us all. From perplexing conditions that baffle medical experts to the strange and unique, join us on a journey to uncover the stories of 15 remarkable individuals with extraordinary diseases. Number 15. Rare Form of Diabetes Mark Rubenhorst In the world of diabetes, there's a version far more potent and pervasive than previously imagined. Scientists were taken aback when they stumbled upon this abnormal variant, characterized by a perpetual thirst that afflicts its patients. Meet Mark Rubenhorst, an architect from Germany who finds himself in the clutches of this rare form of diabetes. His nights are haunted by a relentless urge to urinate, granting him only a fleeting two hours of sleep. The culprit? Excessive water intake to quench an insatiable thirst that refuses to be slaked. Mark's daily routine revolves around consuming a staggering 20 liters of water, a desperate bid to stave off dehydration. Despite the dire warnings of excess water's lethal consequences, he's caught in a cycle dictated by his kidney's swift processing of fluids, leading to incessant trips to the bathroom. As an architect, Mark detected the problem when he found himself waking up parched, a signal that his body's cry for hydration could not be ignored. But the remedy comes with its own perils. Overindulgence in water poses the risk of water intoxication, a condition that spells danger for his sodium levels. Despite the gravity of his situation, understanding is scant, even among medical professionals, leaving Mark to navigate his condition largely alone. Born into this trial by thirst, Mark's mother bore the same burden, indicating a genetic link to his predicament. To mitigate the risks, Mark meticulously plans his days, ensuring a steady supply of water wherever he goes. His constant companion, a bag brimming with bottles, a lifeline in case of a drought. Yet for all his precautions, sleep remains an elusive luxury, with frequent bathroom breaks interrupting his rest. Like many chronic conditions, this one offers no cure, leaving Mark to grapple with its relentless demands. Despite the odds, he presses on, a testament to resilience in the face of adversity. Number 14. Williams Syndrome, Alexandra Birch Williams Syndrome, a rare condition present from birth, casts a unique shadow over those it touches. While it brings its fair share of challenges, including developmental delays and cardiovascular issues, it also unveils a remarkable tapestry of traits. Meet Alexandra Birch, a vibrant soul diagnosed with Williams Syndrome at the tender age of one. For the Birch family, the diagnosis wasn't a shock. They had observed Alexandra's journey from the very beginning, witnessing her distinct personality blossoming alongside her condition. Growing up, Alexandra shared an unbreakable bond with her sister Victoria, their dynamic duo captivating hearts online. What sets Alexandra apart, though, is her infectious friendliness. She's the kind of person who'll greet strangers with open arms, showering them with hugs and spreading warmth wherever she goes. Alexandra's charm doesn't end there. She's known for her candidness, never one to shy away from speaking her mind. With a smile that lights up the room and laughter that's downright contagious, she's a beacon of positivity in a sometimes dim world. Together with Victoria, Alexandra shares snippets of their life on social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, captivating audiences with their authenticity and unwavering bond. In a world hungry for genuine connections, their story resonates, reminding us of the beauty found in embracing our differences and celebrating the quirks that make us who we are. Number 13. Transverse Facial Cleft, Zhao Hui Kang. Meet Zhao, a courageous Chinese boy whose remarkable journey captured the hearts of millions around the world. Born with a rare facial birth defect known as severe transverse facial cleft, his story made waves online in 2010. Imagine being born with two conspicuous gaps stretching from your mouth to your ears, creating the illusion of two faces. That's the reality young Zhao faced from the moment he entered this world. Dubbed Mask Boy by the media, his unique condition garnered widespread attention. Hailing from a humble farming family, Zhao's arrival brought a mix of emotions. His mother, initially devastated by his appearance, 
soon embraced her precious son, despite the challenges they would inevitably face. In their traditional Chinese village, where appearances mattered, they endured ridicule and judgment from others. For Zhao, his condition posed not only physical challenges, but also emotional ones. Doctors described his case as extremely rare and critical, detailing the extensive damage to his soft tissues and facial bones. Despite the odds stacked against him, Zhao underwent two successful surgeries at the 163 Military Hospital in 2018, offering hope for a brighter future. Yet his journey is far from over. With around a decade of waiting ahead, Zhao and his family must patiently await the outcome of his facial bone growth. Number 12. Narcolepsy. Bell Hutt. Hailing from the historic city of Oxford, Bell Hunt is not your average fitness trainer. Behind her vibrant demeanor lies a unique relationship with sleep, one that defies conventional notions of slumber as mere rest and rejuvenation. At the tender age of 17, Belle's life took an unexpected turn when she was diagnosed with narcolepsy, a chronic sleep disorder characterized by excessive daytime sleepiness and sudden, uncontrollable bouts of sleep. The root of narcolepsy can be traced to a rare neurological condition linked to the deficiency of a vital brain chemical called orexin, responsible for regulating wakefulness. Its manifestation often takes the form of unpredictable sleep attacks, where the affected individual succumbs to sleep without warning, often accompanied by sleep paralysis, profound fatigue, and vivid hallucinations. For Bell, navigating daily life with narcolepsy has been akin to walking a tightrope, Simple tasks like attending classes or driving became Herculean feats as she grappled with the relentless onslaught of sleep attacks. Even her social interactions weren't spared, with dates marred by untimely nods into slumber, leaving both her and her companions bewildered. Seeking medical intervention brought its own set of challenges. Bell recalls the incredulous looks from her physician, who, baffled by the severity of her daytime drowsiness, probed about her alcohol intake. According to England's National Health Service, NHS, potential triggers for narcolepsy range from infections like the flu to certain vaccinations, such as the swine flu vaccine. Psychological stress and hormonal fluctuations also feature prominently on the list of potential catalysts. While narcolepsy may lack a definitive cure, Bell discovered a silver lining in the form of lifestyle modifications and medication. Incorporating regular exercise into her daily regimen emerged as a game-changer, helping to alleviate symptoms and provide a semblance of normalcy. Embracing daytime naps, as recommended by the NHS, became a cornerstone of her coping strategy. Yet perhaps the most vital support came from those closest to Belle, her family, friends, employers, and teachers. Their unwavering encouragement and understanding provided the scaffolding she needed to navigate the challenges posed by narcolepsy with resilience and grace. Through perseverance and determination, Belle not only manages her condition but thrives, inspiring others with her indomitable spirit along the way. Number 11. Human Werewolf Syndrome, Jesus Asseves. Hypertrichosis, also known as the Human Werewolf Syndrome, casts a peculiar shadow over those affected by its grip. This rare condition triggers an abnormal surge in hair growth, sprouting from the most unexpected corners of the body. While it can strike anyone, Regardless of gender, cases are so scarce that fewer than 50 have been documented worldwide. Imagine waking up to find your face and body cloaked in a dense, unruly forest of hair, or perhaps encountering sporadic patches reminiscent of a creature from folklore. This is the reality for those grappling with hypertrichosis, a condition that can unveil itself from birth or stealthily emerge over time, casting an unyielding shadow over daily life. Diving into the nuances of hypertrichosis reveals a spectrum of manifestations, from congenital forms like hypertrichosis, lanuginosa, and hypertrichosis terminalis, to acquired variants. In Mexico, an entire family, about 30 strong, bears the weight of this condition, earning them the dubious distinction of being one of the hairiest clans in human history. Among them stands Jesus Asivis, affectionately dubbed Little Wolf, by his community in the quaint town of Laredo, Mexico. Yet, acceptance was scarce, as he and his family faced ostracization from their neighbors. Despite the odds, Jesus forged his path, 
venturing into the world of traveling shows and circus life, where he found a stage to showcase his uniqueness. In a twist of fate, Jesus' aspirations of building a better future for his loved ones were derailed by personal turmoil, leading him back to his roots in Mexico. Though remedies like cutting, plucking, and shaving offer temporary relief, they come with a heavy price, skin irritation that often outweighs the benefits. In the tale of hypertrichosis, we find not only the burden of physical difference, but also the resilience of the human spirit, navigating a world where acceptance and understanding are rare commodities. Number 10. Fish Odor Syndrome Kelly Fido White Fish Odor Syndrome, a rare and peculiar condition, casts a distinct scent over those afflicted, enveloping them in a constant aroma reminiscent of fish. Despite its rarity, affecting only around 100 individuals in recorded medical history, some experts suspect the actual number may be higher. Kelly Fido White, a seasoned radiographer, found herself grappling with this condition at the age of 34. Now 43, Kelly navigates her daily life with fish odor syndrome, or trimethylaminuria, with resilience and determination. Imagine bathing four times a day, changing uniforms twice, and layering on deodorants just to mask the persistent scent. Kelly knows this routine all too well, enduring insults and ridicule from those who fail to understand her plight. From cruel remarks about her weight to hurtful jabs at her hygiene, Kelly has faced it all. Her journey with this syndrome began at the tender age of six when she first noticed her urine exuding a fishy odor. Puberty only exacerbated the issue, ushering in a wave of body odor that defied conventional hygiene practices. Despite years of therapy and counseling to cope with the relentless bullying, Kelly remains steadfast in her resolve. While there's no cure for fish odor syndrome, Kelly manages her symptoms through dietary adjustments and diligent monitoring of nutrient levels. Through her own struggles, she's become a beacon of hope for others silently battling this condition. Kelly refuses to let stigma silence her. Instead, she's building an online community, lending her voice to raise awareness and offer support to fellow sufferers. In a world quick to judge and slow to understand, Kelly's journey serves as a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the power of resilience in the face of adversity. Number 9. Hyper-IgM Syndrome David Vetter Hyper-IgM Syndrome an uncommon and severe immune system disorder stemming from a defect in the CD40 ligand gene, renders those affected incapable of producing adequate amounts of certain antibodies, leaving them highly susceptible to various infections. This often results in frequent episodes of pneumonia, sinusitis, and other recurring infections, which, if not properly managed, can lead to organ damage and potentially become life-threatening. One of the most well-known instances of hyper-IgM syndrome is exemplified by David Vetter, famously known as the Bubble Boy. David's story is a poignant blend of adversity and inspiration, shedding light on the challenges and unyielding spirit of a young boy confined to isolation. Born in 1971 in Texas, David received his diagnosis of hyper-IgM syndrome shortly after birth. To shield him from external infections and offer him a fighting chance at life, a sterile environment was deemed paramount. Thus, from the moment he entered the world, David found himself encased in a sterile plastic bubble, a shelter that served as both his haven and his prison. Within the confines of the bubble, David's existence revolved around routine medical checkups, educational pursuits, and limited interactions with family, facilitated by specially designed gloves affixed to the walls. Despite the constraints imposed upon him, David's resilience shone through as he learned to read, write, and engage in games within the confines of his sterile abode. David's remarkable intellect and unwavering determination captured the nation's attention, turning his story into a media sensation. His journey was closely followed, particularly the efforts to find a viable long-term solution to his predicament. One such endeavor involved a bone marrow transplant from his sister in 1983, though sadly, Complications arose due to a latent virus in the donated marrow. After spending 12 years in the bubble, David briefly glimpsed life outside before succumbing to illness just 15 days later. His life serves as a poignant reminder of the limits of medical science and the ethical dilemmas inherent in extreme measures to preserve life. 
David Vetter's legacy is one of resilience, pushing the boundaries of medical advancement and sparking conversations about the lengths society will go to safeguard the lives of its most vulnerable members. Number 8. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome, Abigail Moss. Back in 1955, a pioneering British psychiatrist named Dr. John Todd unveiled a baffling phenomenon, Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. Drawing inspiration from Lewis Carroll's iconic novel, Todd likened the disorder to the surreal experiences of its protagonist, Alice. At the heart of this syndrome lies a perplexing distortion of body perception, with the size and shape of body parts, particularly the head and hands. Visual perception goes awry too, as objects morph into unfamiliar forms, sizes, or shapes. Meet Abigail Moss, who sheds light on the enigmatic symptoms of this syndrome. Moss vividly describes sensations of her limbs stretching out, distances appearing farther, and objects shrinking before her eyes. But she's not alone in this journey. Moss's father shares his own encounters with the syndrome, recounting moments when the walls seem to close in and his body inexplicably swells. The Alice in Wonderland syndrome is a puzzling odyssey, weaving reality with illusion and leaving those afflicted grappling with a topsy-turvy world of perception. Number 7. Hutchinson-Guilford Progeria Syndrome, Sammy Basso Progeria, also known as Hutchinson-Guilford Progeria Syndrome, stands as a rare genetic disorder, plunging children into a swift aging process that unveils its symptoms within their first year of existence. These symptoms, reminiscent of old age, include thinning skin, hair loss, stiffening joints, and the onset of cardiovascular diseases. Tragically, most children grappling with progeria do not survive beyond their early teens. Among those who shed light on progeria was Sam Burns, a beacon of resilience and inspiration. Diagnosed with progeria at the tender age of 22 months in 1996, Sam's journey unfolded against the backdrop of relentless pursuit by his parents, both medical professionals, striving to extend his life expectancy and enhance his quality of life. Sam's response to his condition was nothing short of remarkable. Rather than succumbing to its challenges, he embraced them as an opportunity to educate and uplift others. Sam embarked on a mission to raise awareness about progeria, actively engaging in public speaking and media appearances. His remarkable story was even captured in the HBO documentary Life According to Sam, offering a poignant glimpse into his daily struggles and triumphs. Despite facing adversity, Sam's resilience shone through. He championed a philosophy rooted in proactive living, emphasizing the pursuit of happiness and progress. Tragically, Sam's life was cut short in 2014, mere weeks before his 18th birthday. However, his legacy endures, serving as a testament to the human spirit's boundless strength and the transformative power of positivity. Through his unwavering determination, Sam propelled progeria into the global spotlight catalyzing research efforts, and raising awareness worldwide. Though his time on Earth was brief, the impact of his courage and resilience reverberates, inspiring countless individuals to embrace life with unwavering determination and optimism. Number 6. Rare Mermaid Condition, Shiloh Pepin In August 1999, Maine welcomed a remarkable soul into the world, Shiloh Jade Pepin. From the moment she entered this world, it was clear she was unique. Doctors discovered that her lower extremities were fused and she was missing some vital organs, no urinary bladder, no uterus, and no rectum. Shiloh's condition was one of a kind, leaving her with just six inches of a large colon, a quarter of a kidney, and a single ovary. Initially, her parents feared the worst, unsure if their precious daughter would even make it past infancy. But Shiloh was a fighter, defying the odds to become one of only three people worldwide living with what's often termed mermaid syndrome. This rare congenital anomaly fused her lower limbs together, resembling a mermaid's tail, believed to stem from circulatory system irregularities during embryonic development. Doctors painted a grim picture, predicting Shiloh's life in mere days. Yet days turned into months, and months into years. At just two years old, her natural kidney failed, leading to her first kidney transplant. Another setback occurred at age five, requiring dialysis for two grueling years. However, a glimmer of hope emerged in 2007 with her second kidney transplant, 
allowing Shiloh to gain strength and vitality. Despite her challenges, Shiloh approached life with unwavering optimism. Her resilience and determination caught the attention of many, landing her a feature in a TLC documentary titled Extraordinary People, Mermaid Girl. Even appearing on The Oprah Winfrey Show, Shiloh's story touched hearts worldwide. However, tragedy struck before Shiloh could pursue surgery to separate her conjoined legs. A sudden illness escalated to pneumonia, sending her fragile body into shock and resulting in kidney failure. Despite the valiant efforts of medical professionals at Maine Medical Center, Shiloh passed away in October 2009, leaving behind a legacy of courage and inspiration. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. On the left, we have a case of epidermodysplasia verusiformis. Afflicting those prone to the human papillomavirus, this condition causes papules to sprout on the skin, resembling the bark of a tree. These growths typically manifest in sun-exposed areas, transforming the appearance of the affected individual. While a cure remains elusive, treatments can mitigate new papule formation. One courageous man from Indonesia bravely shared his journey, undergoing numerous surgeries to remove the growths. On the right, we have Marimar Kiroa. Born with a cystic hygroma, Marimar faces extraordinary challenges every day. Yet she's not letting anything hold her back. Despite her difficulties, she's created her own YouTube channel, where she shares makeup tutorials and spreads positivity. From studying to be a teacher of the deaf to becoming a Zumba instructor, Marimar's resilience knows no bounds. Let's take a moment to reflect on their resilience and send them our support in the comments below. Number 5. Megalencephaly Katie Renfro. Meet Katie, a resilient young girl embroiled in a battle against an elusive disease so rare it didn't even have a name when she was diagnosed. Katie's adversary? Megalencephaly, a disorder marked by abnormal brain growth. But her journey is far from straightforward. Alongside megalencephaly, she grapples with a constellation of symptoms that defy conventional diagnosis. Since birth, Katie's devoted mother, Angie, has been on a quest for answers, clinging to the hope of a full diagnosis for her beloved daughter. Yet despite exhaustive medical evaluations, the precise nature of Katie's mystery condition remains shrouded in uncertainty. So rare is her ailment that her doctors entertain the possibility of naming it after her. Katie's struggles manifest physically, with fatty tissues on her face necessitating multiple surgeries for removal. But the challenges don't end there. Seizures plague her, rendering eating impossible and requiring a feeding tube for sustenance. Surgery has become a familiar companion in Katie's life, with brain surgery at a mere nine months old, marking the beginning of a series of interventions to alleviate her condition. Despite the relentless onslaught of medical procedures, Katie remains a beacon of resilience. Her family stands unwaveringly by her side, offering unwavering support and love. With an outgoing and optimistic spirit, Katie defies the limitations imposed by her illness, radiating joy and touching the hearts of all who know her. Number 4. Brain Malformation – Jackson Buell Jackson Buell wasn't expected to celebrate his first birthday, let alone reach the age of five. But from day one, Jackson defied the odds, inspiring those closest to him and capturing hearts around the world. Born with a rare brain anomaly that stunted his development, Jackson's story is one of resilience and hope. It all began with a routine ultrasound at 17 weeks, where a hushed technician hinted at something amiss. The parents received the sobering news the next day. Jackson's brain had ceased developing shortly after conception. Despite this grim prognosis, Jackson arrived at 37 weeks, a testament to his fighting spirit. Though Jackson couldn't articulate his feelings in words, his parents attested to their deep connection, watching in wonder as he achieved milestones that once seemed impossible. Each passing year was a precious gift, defying the dire predictions made at his birth. Tragically, Jackson's journey came to a peaceful end, leaving behind a legacy of courage and resilience. While his time on Earth was brief, he left an indelible mark on those who knew him, reminding us all of the strength that lies within the human spirit. Number 3. Foreign Accent Syndrome – Karen Butler 
Foreign accent syndrome is a fascinating speech disorder that transforms a person's native language into something unexpected, often perceived as foreign by their own community. This curious phenomenon stems from brain damage affecting speech centers, typically occurring when someone suddenly awakens speaking in an unfamiliar accent. Karen Butler, an American with no prior exposure to European cultures, experienced a similar event after a routine dental visit. Despite being born and raised in the U.S., she found herself speaking with a blend of English, Irish, and other European accents post-anesthesia. Initially dismissing it as a temporary side effect, Karen was surprised when the accent persisted even after the swelling subsided. Neurologist Ted Lowenkopf, after careful evaluation, diagnosed Karen with foreign accent syndrome, attributing it to a possible small stroke during the dental procedure. While such cases are rare, with only around 100 documented since the first reported case in the 1940s, they offer intriguing insights into the complexities of the human brain. One infamous case involved a Norwegian woman during World War II who developed a German accent after sustaining shrapnel injuries. Sadly, she faced social ostracism due to her newfound speech pattern. However, there's hope. Intensive speech therapy has shown promising results in treating this curious condition, offering relief to those affected. Number 2. Proteus Syndrome – Joseph Merrick Joseph Merrick, known as the Elephant Man, faced a life filled with extraordinary challenges from a young age. Born with physical deformities that progressively worsened, he found himself thrust into the spotlight of human oddity shows across England. Imagine, a man with features resembling both a human and an elephant, captivating audiences with his uniqueness. Despite fleeting success, Joseph's journey was marred by hardship. Veiled and cloaked to conceal his disfigurements, he endured relentless harassment from curious onlookers. Seeking refuge, he eventually found himself under the care of London Hospital thanks to the generosity of public donations. However, even in the shelter of the hospital, Joseph's condition continued its relentless march. On April 11, 1890, he was discovered lifeless, his battle with his afflictions finally at an end. While he believed his deformities stemmed from his mother's encounter with an elephant, medical experts attribute his condition to severe neurofibromatosis or possibly Proteus syndrome. Joseph Merrick's story has transcended time, inspiring countless artistic interpretations. From a Broadway play in 1979 to a film adaptation the following year, his legacy lives on, immortalized in the hearts and minds of those touched by his extraordinary tale. Number 1. Treacher Collins Syndrome – Juliana Wetmore Juliana has captured hearts worldwide as the girl born with Treacher Collins Syndrome, a genetic condition that left her without up to 40% of the bones in her face. Her remarkable journey began at birth, and now at 11 years old, she has undergone 45 surgeries. Despite the challenges, Juliana communicates effortlessly with friends, using sign language and speaking, albeit sometimes difficult to understand. Her parents remain hopeful, anticipating improvements in her speech once her tracheostomy tube is removed. Another goal for Juliana is to eat independently, as she currently receives liquid nutrition through a tube. Juliana's story has touched many, with messages of support and admiration flooding in. Parents have shared how they use her story to teach their children about true beauty lying beyond appearances. Juliana now attends an elementary school in Clay County, Florida, where she feels content with her appearance. Her parents are cautious not to pressure her into further surgeries, but they are open to the possibility of an operation to adjust her cheek structure. Juliana's journey is a testament to the depth of human resilience and the beauty found within. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.